Hi, Laredo. Welcome back, parents and children. We are here once again with another fun activity. So this week we are again celebrating the 265th birthday of Laredo. So once again, Laredo was established in 1755 and it was founded by Tomas Sanchez. And today we will be doing a train as the railroad industry was very important to Laredo in the early 1800s. That is what marked the beginning of the, new, uh, the modern era, okay? So since it was so important to our history, we're going to be doing a train today. Or if you have younger children, you may do this version of the train. So if you did go by one of our uh, curbside pickups, you will find that in one of your packets, you do have 120 popsicle sticks. So you can either use it to make the smaller version for younger children, or you can use it to make this version. You will find that you also have a sheet where you can maybe base yourself off of, and a sheet of construction paper as well. So for this activity, like I said, we will need the popsicle sticks, the construction paper. We're going to need some glue, some scissors, scissors and markers for paint markers. if you want to color, decorate your train, adding more little small details to it. Yes, and so we will also, as you can see, I found these, so I'm using these as wheels. You don't have to find, you don't have to use those. You can use uh, the caps of your water bottles or any other little caps you have lying around, maybe some little discs that you may have. Whatever you can find around your house, you can use those for wheels. So we are going to start by grabbing our popsicle sticks. And I'm just gonna grab a couple. And I'm going to be using 10 of them. For mine. And I will be using eight for mine. You will be needing for the smaller train, four for the top area and four for the bottom. Also, if you do want to paint these before you use them, um, paint them and then let them dry for at least 24 hours before you use them. You can also try um, food coloring and water and dip them in there and they will get a, a slight stain of whatever color you'd like. It's really up to you. You can wait until the very end to paint them. So I'm going to start and we're going to start by, I'm going to get the long way and glue it on the side of the edge, very little glue, sliding it down your stick. I'm going to flatten them out, that way I know that they're both leveled. So you can use regular Elmer's glue. It will take a little bit longer to dry. You can use the glue gun, or you can also use a wood glue if you have any, that would work as well. So this is all I'm doing. Parents, again, a reminder, if you are using super glue, it is hot, be careful with the kids. So as I mentioned, the arrival of the Texas Mexican Railroad did mark the beginning of the modern era for Laredo. And in the last few years since it was established, the last years of the 1800s, it did 
it did uh, bring a lot of economic growth. Also, part of the reason why Laredo is also known as the gateway city. So, for this version of the railroad, this is what we're going to be doing. So, these would be the ones here. Okay. And then we're going to do another one with five pieces. It is all just pasting and you will have the photo provided to you so you can guide yourself okay just in case you get lost you can color your sticks with markers and before you glue the other part on the bottom for the smaller one because the bigger one is a little bit crazy. <laughs> it's a little more time consuming. But that is okay, it is fun to build. And like we mentioned earlier, you can be creative. You can color different colors, your favorite colors, one simple color. Again, the same thing. Another 10 right here. So I'm gonna drop another 10. As I mentioned, I'm putting them like this just so that I know that they're they're on the table and that means that they're even. even. While you wait after you color to let it dry a little bit, you can use the construction paper to draw with one of these. If we don't have the bottle caps, you can draw a little circle with the pencil or a pen marker to do the tires for your trains. Again, parents, while using the scissors, please be careful with your kids. They just look like 
little circles to add to the train as tires. So as you can see, this is just a repeated process. We're doing the same thing over and over. And then we put it all together. And the smaller, thinner stick, popsicle stick, you can add, you will add glue the tires to it. Just a little dot. So here we have the other 10 and we're going to do the same thing we did to this one just on the top and we're going to place this right here. To the other set that we have a four, you cannot, you will be adding, I'm sorry, on the bottom area just like this the tires of the train depending which one you're going to use if the color like I colored on the top or on the bottom and just like we did it earlier just right on the edge you can glue it and then now I'm going to be doing so this, as you can see, is coming together. Now I'm going to be doing the sides. So for that, we need two sets of five, five for each side. So I'm going to grab some more of my popsicle sticks. Whoops. I'm going to need five, and then another set of five. So same process, we're just gluing them together. So if you haven't been to Laredo College, once you are able to do so, once you're all able to do so, I recommend that you visit it and you will see a train there or a, a section of a train there. And Laredo College is also a historical landmark, the area, which is where one of the forts As you can see, this is something that it kind of needs to see so you can get your train together. You can add different wording, pictures, um, you anything you would like. You will also get, again, I'm sorry, the construction paper. And you are going to do a little T, just like this one up here. So it could be... smoke so you can see the smoke out of a train so you just draw like a little T with the scissors You can also do it out of the popsicle sticks. I will be using the construction for it. And it should look something very simple like this. Okay. So I've decided that my top area that we're gonna glue in the top area like this will be the blue. 
not so perfect coloring but it goes so I am just repeating the same process over and over so I can get my train As you can see through the back, I glued it in the back area so it can look like this from the front. Let's not forget our little smoking. And it should be something like this. As you can see on the one we tried yesterday, we added Texas Mexican Railroad, which was the name of the of the company, I believe so. It was uh, the first uh, railway established in Laredo that began um, that le that began the modern era in the early 1800s. Like we mentioned, you can be very creative with your train, you can do a basic train, you can add your name to it, anything you would like your, your train to be named If after. you have popsicle sticks left over, you can also build a railway, so the actual railway, if you'd like. So as you can see, this is how begin your train you keep pacing it as I mentioned you will get a picture so you can be able to guide yourself this is mine and I'm just going to finish it off here with you so whatever you can find as wheels you can use you don't have to use these things specifically you can use bottle caps or anything anything else that you, that you may have You can add as many cards as you want. And once again, you can use the paint to paint it. You can also dip them in food coloring and water before you use them and give them some good time to dry. That way the glue sticks on right. You can also do the markers, the paint. Remember that if you are using regular glue and not wood glue or the glue gun, you might need to wait a little bit longer. You can add, like I mentioned, anything you want on your train. I added today, City of Laredo celebrating 265 years from 1755 till now. So this is what your train would look like with a car. You, like I said, you can add maybe three cards so you can make it longer, but this would be your train. So thank you once again for joining us for another activity. We hope to see you soon. And remember, we are celebrating 265 years from 1755 when Laredo was founded. Thank you. Thank you.